I see you tend your newborn calf and know the truth in visions. Life is hard for us, Reba, and our herd is scattered. As matriarch, I am to blame. My sight fails me, and many of our number have been lost along the way. But Reva, I have learned where they are, far over the mountain, beyond water, stone, and sand. Paths from ancient memories appear to me, pointing the way. Lead with me, Riva. And reunite our herd. To shelter three where we are here as Riva the matriarch newly made of a herd guided by the memories of the matriarch before her leading what remains of our family through the wilds along with our young calf by our sides oh my gosh and here we go okay so we need to go ahead and lead our herd forward we are Riva standing right at the center there. There's our little baby. Is it done? Okay, it's done nursing. So I think, oh, look at that. Everybody's everybody's giving little triumphs of triumph, I guess. And then there we go. Okay, we're off. So we need to figure out what we can do. I can call out to our family. I can summon them all to my side, which seems to be a good thing to do. Let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight members all together. It looks like we have an elder with us. I wonder what the floating above her head means. Maybe I'll be able to do something with that. But we have an elder with us. We have got our newborn calf. There are two other calves. So this being elephants, oh, ooh, I'm a running. All right, we're leading everybody. I've got to bring my baby over to us though. So let's wait just a second. There you go, little one. So, this being a herd of elephants, who you see here are going to be the sisters, the aunties, the cousins, the older female adults who will roam the world together, and their children. And it looks like we have taken on the role of matriarch, which means that we're in charge of guiding all of our family to where we can find resources like water, food, and safety from predators. We're in charge, and the memories that we may have gained from following this path with the matriarch before us when we were younger, oh, look at that beautiful green bird, are going to be essential in surviving wherever we're going. All right, let's see if we can figure out where we're supposed to go here. Oh, look, there's a bunch of flamingos over there, you guys. Let's go over and mess with the flamingos and see what they're up to. We'll put a little bit more pep in our step. We are an elephant, so we're going to weigh a lot, and it's going to take us a little bit to be able to get from place to place. Oh! Alright, one of them is just going to jump into the water, that's fine. Oh wow, we actually break the trees when we go through. And look at all of these flamingos! What? Oh, this is so cool! Oh, listen to them. They're all taking off now. That's hilarious. <laughs> so we actually unlocked an achievement called Flamboyant Flight for spooking a bunch of flamingos. That was adorable. I wonder what else might be hiding in- Oh, our baby! Our baby is drowning! Oh, apparently we need to go ahead. Right click, huh? Oh, look! Good, good, good. So that gives us the water we needed. Okay, so we can play in the water. 
And it looks like we'll have to go the other direction if we're going to be able to get our herd across the water because we need to find somewhere that's not too deep for the babies. Elephants can swim and they can use their trunks as periscopes to be able to hold up and breathe while the rest of their body is underwater. But I don't know how old an elephant needs to be before they are big enough to safely swim. Probably a little older than a newborn calf. Oh, look at that. All right, we're still on the move. Everybody's keeping up. Good to know that the family can really hoof it when they need to. And let's see, so... Our first obstacle seems to be getting across the way. Oh, what's this? Is everybody hungry? I think everybody's hungry. Where would I find food? Oh, over here, over here. Okay. Come on, everyone. I hope the babies can swim. It looks like there's some food over in this tree. Yes, look, there's food everywhere. Okay, so we're gonna need to go ahead and ram the tree. Good, the babies can swim. I was really worried about that. And then the fruit will fall and we'll be able to go ahead and feed everybody. So let's go do this. And, oh, good job, Riva. All right, and now she's going ahead and eating. Let's guide the babies over to where all this food is. Our baby is so young that it's going to go ahead and need to nurse from us, so we need to make sure we take good care of our own health. There should be fruit for everybody else, though. Good, yeah, the little uh, the other youngsters are going ahead and eating. Probably my, like, nieces or my nephews, or a little of both. Okay, so now where are we off to? Well, all right, E. Oh, that actually lets us go ahead and get something to drink. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, good. And then we can play in the water. And again, we can come on over. Oh, look at them. <laughs> and we can spook the elephant, or we can spook the flamingos. Okay, so I wonder where we're supposed to go. We'll find out. Oh, it's really fun to be able to break the trees. I guess we'll follow the flamingo's flight. <laughs> oh, listen to them all fuss about it. All right, and now we need a little more food. There we go. So we'll knock some down for everybody to enjoy. All right, enjoy everyone. This seems to be a land of plenty so far too. There's plenty of fruit for everybody, as long as I make sure that, yeah, everyone seems to pick some up. Oh, what's this? Okay. So. Oh, there we go. Look at that. So that's how I can actually sense where we're supposed to walk to. I've got it. All right, come along, sisters, cousins. We need to keep an eye out to make sure we don't run into any pre like predators, but <laughs> we just unlocked an achievement called Timber. Oh, look at all of them go! And actually, in real life, herds of elephants will absolutely decimate a landscape if they are not able to successfully move through the landscape. You want a herd of elephants to be a very occasional passing by group. The longer they linger around a forest, the more they will just rip the trees apart. Bull elephants can knock over many full grown trees just if they have an itch to scratch. Hmm. Do I smell anything suspicious? No, nothing suspicious. And really, a sense of smell would not be the only thing we use. It, those big ears are not just for looks, after all. But we're a family. And that's very different from the other shelter games we've played so far, my friends. Because this is a family based around relationships between every member. Oh, Wilderbeast! Oh, that's so interesting. Is there food over here we could eat? Yeah, look! We're eating all of these grass pieces! Excellent! All right. So we can go ahead and follow that. Oh, look! And there's a glowing thing up there. 
I think that might be like a bit of a memory we're supposed to get. Oh, <gasps> there's a bunch of gazelle. Wow. All right, let me see what my senses tell me really quickly. That there's a lot to eat and up here seems to be the memory that we're going for. Oh, my baby loves me. That's really sweet. Oh, look, we're eating some of the bush as we move through. Just like I was telling you guys, you really want a herd of elephants to move through the landscape. That's one of the reasons that putting down fences to contain cattle or agricultural areas can absolutely cause chaos by trapping elephants in one spot until they have no more food. And that means no food for all these other animals, too. Yes, I remember this place, Riva. Come closer and see what I see. Oh, we're being taught by the oldest of the members, I think. Perhaps even our mother or an older aunt or cousin. <gasps> wow! Oh, look at all the stars. Look, there's that matriarch. Okay. So I think this, uh, these are like the memories of the matriarch. Here the families are not just formed for a season until they grow and leave their mother's side. Here, in an elephant herd, truly they're a family forever, with the daughters staying by their mothers for the rest of their lives, learning from them, not just during their childhood and adolescence, but exchanging entire lifetimes of experience and memory together. All in the name of protecting their descendants and protecting the family herd. And guiding them to where they need to go. The path by the Lotus Lake will lead us west through misty woods towards the coast. The path towards the banyan tree leads to the great sea of sand. Ah, so we might have to go through the desert. Oh. Oh, I think we pick which one we want to go on. The path by the Lotus Lake will lead us west through the misty woods towards the coast. Mm, that probably would have a lot of food, but I wonder if it would also have a lot of predators hiding in woods that are difficult to see. And the path towards the banyan tree leads to the great sea of sand. If we cross the sea of sand, I don't know if our youngsters will be able to make it, and we'd have to look very carefully for any food and the lotus lake sounds like it would be quite beautiful honestly but also possibly a threat and i don't know if we'll be able to defend ourselves from threats just yet but you know what we'll go ahead and we'll pick this path for now even though elephants are so large they have so much to fear mostly from humans though 20,000 a year killed for their tusks. And now, with that memory gained, we'll be heading over to the Lotus Lake. All right. So I think the the grantor of memories is our matriarch, right? Former matriarch right over there. Maybe that's why she has that memory above her head. Also, I love how we're just casually eating the landscape as we go by. All right. Do I smell anything dangerous? Oh, there's more fruit over there. And it looks like there's the misty forest. Also, can I... Elephants can sometimes be a little bit of troublemakers. Ah, we just like took all of that food. <laughs> Let's go ahead and eat up. Make sure that my baby has enough to eat. One of the little ones is fussing. I think they want some fruit. All right, well, there's some fruit further on. But really, there's food over here, you guys. Eat up. Wow, look at how much our herd eats. <laughs> okay, the babies want some fruit. Okay, everybody wants some fruit all of a sudden. Hang on, guys. Okay, I see how it is. Oh, look at that gigantic tree. That must be the banyan tree. All right, we need some fruit. And it looks like the fruit is going to be through this bamboo forest. 
so let's go ahead and begin the next phase of our journey. Where's our baby? Where is our baby? There it is. We want to keep everybody close by. And we're going to see if Riva here has what it takes to go ahead and work her way through the forest and lead her family safely into the future. So, alright guys, if you could, do please leave a like for Riva and her little family. I am a little nervous about where their adventure will take them. I could definitely see a predator waiting and hiding just over the edges. Look at all of the bamboo we're taking down with us. <laughs> but I'm excited to be able to share this new story from Might and Delight with all of you. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for Riva. And if you would like to join us on this... Oh, and it's time to feed the baby! On this and literally thousands more adventures. Let's wait, let's wait. There we are. And now our little one is getting some food. Oh, we're petting it. Then do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.